All right, everyone, welcome back to the video. Um, I don't think I've like fully talked about my thoughts on rank 10 cards outside of just saying that they're broken. So I'm gonna be talking basically about why rank 10 cards kind of scare me and the issue I have with rank 10 cards currently. Um, but yeah, I just kind of want to explain like my thoughts on rank 10 cards because I don't think I've actually like uh articulated myself well enough to besides sounding like just a crazy man saying rank 10 are broken rank 10 are broken so yeah let me go ahead and explain um previously when we look at cards right um let's go to the card guide um and look through them rank outside of rank 10 at rank 9 i only have two cards from like all the shinies because they only have two cards uh Sung Lil and Apollos, and Apollos is not even because I really wanted it, Apollos is because, like, I just had to, I, I needed an option to choose, and I just picked Apollos, um, and then you go down to rank 8, and the only two cards shining, I, well, three cards shining I have are Lionheart Knight, which is, like, basically a pretty decent assist card, um, comes in the battle pass, you know, easy to get, um, Ayana's, which is one of the best Talisman cards in the game, and Night Monarch, which is the best Headward card in the game. Um, so as you guys can see, when you're going down the list, there's like a lot less, uh, rank 7 and below, kind of just more, but those are a lot more easy ac accessible now because of Genki Gacha and all those things. But going on the list, there's already, a se there's very select few Headward cards, or Talisman cards, or even just Shiny cards in general that I actually get from lower ranks. However, if we look at rank X, for example, rank 10, I already have two shining uh shining shining i already have two shining cards and we don't even have the full like all the rank 10 cards released i'm assuming like that's that's as many as i got i had in rank uh nine and almost as many as i had in rank uh rank eight but i'm going to be getting vasya very soon vasya is going to be the third card i'm getting so that's three shining um three shining cards and then I'm honestly probably going to get Shining Thorn as eventually, that's four. The thing is, we've never seen this many good cards come out of a card set before. Um, every single card that releases for rank 10 is basically just slot, the, slot fine somewhere and put this in your card set because it's broken, the percentages are so ridiculous. Which really scares me because, as you have to see, like, based off of the previous cards, we don't really get like four or five different cards every rank that we're just moving up, shining, wailing on, etc. Whereas in this rank of rank ten, we're still missing the third, third armor card. By the way, we're probably gonna miss. We're missing another headword card for a side effect, and we're probably gonna miss um, another armor, uh, another weapon card, and some other cards as, as well. So we don't know really what's to come fully, but yeah, we'll figure it out as we go. But there's never been this many good cards released in a card set like ever, basically. Which is the scary part about rank 10 because they keep having to one up. They keep making cards too good to the point where they have to keep trying to one up it every single new card rank. And that's why we have rank 10 cards being so incredibly busted now because they realized, oh, well, this card from rank 7 is good. Well, we need to replace that. So let's make a rank 10 card, but make it just better than the shiny rank 7 version, which has kind of led to the current meta. And that really scares me because. Does that mean that at rank 11, we're just going to have 50% execute damage, 50% debuff damage cards coming out of nowhere? Basically, if you guys know what I mean. Like, are these cards just going to keep upscaling, 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 upscaling infinitely to the point where if you have a rank, if you wear rank 10, your rank 10 cards are, are obsolete at rank 11, your rank 11 cards are obsolete at rank 12, it almost becomes pointless to wail the newest cards if you know that they're just going to be point, the, um, out scaled in like two months you know what i'm saying obviously not that short of a time but like four months they're gonna be outscaled basically um so it's a very interesting situation that i just am not really that big of a fan of i feel like i think that they should take a break from cards i know that sounds crazy right like i want to upgrade my cards i want to upgrade my cards but but listen out listen to me listen to what i mean i'd rather them work on other systems besides cards for a little bit just so we stop having to upscale cards so much, or even just make the rank 11 cards not better than rank 10 cards, but kind of other options to rank 10 cards. Like, make a couple PvP cards like Accuracy and, accuracy and like, Crit Rate Talisman, which would arguably be garbage, but it's a PvP card, like, you know what I'm saying? 
I'd rather them just not just keep trying to upscale the current stats and just try to make like other options to make more diversity in the cards rather than just upscale, upscale, upscale. Um, I'm not sure if I explained that properly, but um, basically stop trying to one up the stats and just give other stats. There's so many other like high HP has not had another stat on it armor card wise besides crit rate since like or or accuracy of course. But they haven't had, like, another damage stat-wise armor card in, like, forever. Has high HP ever had? No, they haven't. It's always been Demon Goblin, Accuracy, um, don't remember rank 6, but rank 7 was, uh, Mio and Black Hat, or Mio was rank 8 crit rate black hat oh black hat was the one exception so yeah maybe like another black hat or something armor card would be nice but i don't know that's just my thoughts on it just give us other options to maybe diversify builds and not have everyone have to whale all the newest cards you know what i mean but that's just my opinion on it thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next one